Hello, hello, it is Nemi Batstone here coming to you from Cooks Creek, Manitoba in my studio, Nemi's Crafty Cafe. It is a Monday, which means it's another Make It Monday with this week's global design project, GDP 463. Wow, I can't believe that I've been on a roll with trying to stay consistent with sharing with you some on the spot challenges that come up and share with you on a weekly basis. So it's been fun. So I'm just going to make sure I can hear everything. And oh, looks like I don't have sound again. If anyone is there, then let me know if you can hear me. I might, hang on. Oh, there we go. I can hear myself now and I can see comments, so it's good. So if you're here, give me a thumbs up or a heart, any emoji, say hello. Oh, good evening, Christine. Thanks for joining me this evening. Um, so I hope my sound is okay. And so it's, the uh, power went out, like it's been raining all day, thunder, lightning. And so practice was canceled, one game was still on. Now it seems to have stopped, but I'm sure it's nice and soggy and it's super wet out. Awesome, thank you. Thank you that letting me know the sound is good. And so the power went out for about 30 seconds, so I'm hoping we have no more of those issues anymore. But anyway, I've been busy all weekend trying to craft because we have um, retreat coming up and we spent a lot of time, This we also had team meetings, so we were busy with um, putting this design DSP samplers together and then I was trying to fix the kit and um, all that jazz. And then I was working on my um, snow, what is it called? I forgot what it's called. Uh, Snowy Wonder Extravaganza. So I've already started making up some cute little tags that'll go in that one day event. And then I've decided to do one other one this October impromptu because I truly love it. Where is it? Hang on, I'm trying to find it. I was going through my stuff, and I'm not too sure if most of you know, but my I guess most of you don't know. You would only know if you get my newsletter. But <laughs> I, there's this new, well, it's not new, but it is. It's um, Comforting Thoughts. I think it's one of those sleeper stamp sets because it's got some really amazing sayings that is kind of touches my heart. It would it be things I would say, you know, like, I'm here for you. Cancer sucks. There's no good card for this. I wish I could make this better. Hoping things, um, this is a feeling better kind of day. Thinking of you, praying for you, hoping with you. Healing, peace, rest. You can do this, you're not alone. I don't have the right words to say. So, you know, with October being um, cancer month, breast cancer, of course, and my mother had lung cancer, um, I started putting some great cards together for this. Let me see if I can grab them for you. Ignore my mess. So this down set actually has tons of sentiments. So if you um, get it, I will share with you some card designs that I've come up with and I think that are just fantastic and beautiful. Some that are fun fold and would definitely suit well. So I'll be posting. So if, you, if you're part of my newsletter, you'll get information on that. How to, it's, um, love the DSP something all done. Awesome, me too. <laughs> and so, I'm so happy they're done. I already have my DSP samplers inside each of my 12 by 12 packs. It's fantastic, I love it. Anyway, sidebar, so I will share that with you. So make sure you're part of my newsletter. There's a link up top to sign up and then you'll find out about all these new classes that are coming up. And then I have my Christmas card series, and then I'm hoping to have a bingo in December to kick off some sneak previews of the celebration catalog. There's just so much going on. Okay, and in between there, I gotta do a ton of crafts. In. Okay, <laughs> so let's get started. This week, it's all about GDP 463 and our is celebrate, which is a really nice and easy one. And I know many of you have a ton of samples sitting around that you can easily share on social media with this one. Because I know you've been creating and I know that a celebration is easy. 
So it can be a graduation, um, I guess maybe a wedding, birthdays, obviously. What other celebrations are there, <laughs> right? So many. And this week I wanted to feature an online exclusive because it's one of the add-ons that we're having at retreat that I put in for Sunday. And it is um, the iconic imagery set. So I have an add-on class for my upcoming retreat. And so I wanted to share um, some of this. And if you would like the actual add-on class, I'll also have a link available for it, which will also be in my newsletter and will ship to you in um, October. And then you can uh, play along with this as much as you want. There'll be a tutorial and everything, so you don't have to worry about doing it right away or having me be there with you. Hello, Kathy, thanks for joining. But anyway, it's a fun set. And it's my brother's, this actually works out really good because it's my brother's birthday next week. So I needed a card. And so masculine cards are not something we normally do. So let's get fun and crafty with it. So alongside with this beautiful stamp set, you know, we're going to play with some of these dies, and I'm not too sure which ones. So you're going to have to help me create. There is, um, I'm going to adjust my table here. So I have a little bit more space. There you go. So it comes with 12 different patterns of designer series paper. And it has six coordinating colors, um, which is small compared to some of the new ones we have. Some of the new um, DSP that is in the mini catalog is like 10 or 12. So it's, and that's okay. But the more, sometimes I feel is too much. But what's really nice about the Iconic Celebrations um, online exclusive DSP is you have every season. So you can have New Year's, you can have weddings, you can have Christmas, um, you have uh, Valentine's Day, you have birthdays, and then I'll show you some of the other ones on the other side. There's fall and Thanksgiving, there's Christmas as well. Um, you could use this one too for baptisms, right? Um, or newborns, something like that. And of course, just generic. So both the A side and the B side. So these are just little samples. So these are the sampler packs that Christine mentioned we made. So we made 10 of these at team meeting, which is fantastic because you can now just take this and slide them into your packs. Now, obviously, this one's a six by six. So I can't slide this into my little six by six pack because my little six by six pack looks like this. And I'm not going to make little minis, but it's definitely handy in nearby on my cork board when I need it. Okay, so those are the gorgeous patterns. And I think the pattern, the pattern, I'll show you the card I created. And I think I wanna try and um, work with this one and confetti, cause I'd still like to stay with the masculine theme, but these two do go well together cause obviously it's the A side and the B side, which is pecan pie. So you tell me. Do you like confetti or should I use, should I use the confetti or should I use this with the candles? Let me know. Um, I guess confetti and this would be um, fireworks. Okay, so I'll show you my card if I can find it. So this was the card I created. I participated in, um, can I get that sheet? <laughs> sure, I can give you the sheet. Like you want the Print out, and I'm going to assume you have all the card stock in the DSP, right? Because I'm not cutting anymore. I need a break. <laughs> so, yes, confetti. Okay, um, this is the card I made. So this weekend I participated in another creative online convention with um, featuring Rhonda Wade, Angie McKay, Erica Serwin, and Michelle Litwiller. And so there was training for um, demonstrators as well as some card samplers, obviously, that we can use in our business. So this was one design, and I really like it. And you just open it, and it opens like this. But what's fun, too, is you get the other pattern on the back side. So I just noticed I could have did my um, trees the opposite way so that it's actually showing standing up. So that's something to keep note. You have the paper. Perfect. Yes, I can print out one of these for you. So. Um, 
you get both sides of the designer series paper plus you know a sneak preview there and um, I'll show you this so it's so much fun this one was I think one of my favorite designs that we learned this weekend and I actually used it with my other upcoming weekly class which is free to with the gingerbread set um gingerbread set um, I just want to call it the sweetest star set so anyway um I'll show you another one that features that one but that's coming soon okay um I ran out of ribbon so that's why I couldn't finish the card that looks like this so I made this one instead so again I needed more masculine cards and then I threw a whole bunch of rhinestones, which are the coordinating rhinestones for the iconic celebration, as well as this month. This month, I said last week, I said, if you ordered with me, you got a free one of these, um, which is the adhesive back sparkle gems. So $60 or more. And I would gift you this this month and you would receive it next month because it takes a while to to get to and ship to you. But you would get it by the end of the month. So. Let's get crafty and make some more with this. So we said confetti is the first one I saw. So we're going to twist it up a bit because I wanted another design and I just didn't have time. So these are my two scraps and you know what? We'll use a white base. We'll, we'll use a white base. I was going to change it up and use Misty Moonlight, but you know what? We'll be fine. So I'm going to move that out of the way. And I'll just move my sample here in the corner for now. So then you can kind of see it if it would stay flat. Okay. So first to do this, we're going to, we're going to probably, I just want to take a quick measurement here. So this one here, I cut off a one and a half inches. But I want to make sure I'm still good if I use one and a half inches. So with this one, it looks like I'm going to use one and a three eighths instead of one and a half. So we're gonna have to do, I think, I think we're okay. Well, let's cut this first. So this one was easier because all I did was cut off one and a half inches. And then I glued a three quarter inch piece. But now, because I have this beautiful pattern, I want my candles. I thought my candles could work this way, but it's too skinny. So we're, we're going rogue. I love going rogue. But I'm also very excited for the retreat because we've got, you know, pillow gifts in motion right now. Should be done, but you know, everything doesn't arrive on time. So I had to wait and I'm still missing one more box for retreat that should be arriving tomorrow. Should have been today according to UPS, but it's not. Okay, so that's my edge. And can I go one and a half as planned? So if I go one and a half, oh yeah, I'm still good. Or sorry. It's one and three quarters. So I believe it's one and three quarters. One and a half for the other one. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I'm one and three quarters. So that's not bad. Do I want that much showing? You know, I don't want that much showing. So I'm going to trim this some more. I think my blade needs to be replaced. <laughs> it's got a bit of spraying going on okay so we're gonna trim this so then I want to make sure my candles are sticking out which is about three quarters of an inch so we're gonna change it up a bit so we're only gonna cut off one inch so if I only cut off one inch then that means this should be at about one and a quarter okay we are so improvising so i'm gonna scrap this three quarter inch piece here and we're gonna change up the design just slightly so you're gonna have to bear with me oh i don't know if i okay we've got celebration on the back we're gonna go 
with that. So now we're down to one and a half inches. So like I said, we're going rogue. Oh, then that means I need one and a half by five and a quarter. And this is, looks good. Okay. Oh, it's supposed to be five and a half. Oops. Let me get another one. Already made a boo-boo. Let me see. Hopefully, hopefully I have another one because I have been playing with this to create my cards for retreat. So I don't know how much I have left. Well, I can always open another pack, but we don't want to do that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, hang on. Got to open another pack, I think. Unless I have some, hang on, I might have some pieces here. Um, that one's going the wrong way. And we only have hearts. So hold up, wait a minute. Ain't number tootie fruity, get up the floor and get shaking that booty. Okay, I got another pack. I love this paper. I love this paper so much that I have an extra pack. I know. Isn't it crazy? Okay. So let's get those candles. Because I want to stick to that masculine design. So, you know, typical bloopers. Have you all done that yourselves? Where you, you know, cut paper and realize, oops, I cut it wrong. But that's because I'm going rogue. Here we go. Okay. Found it. And what did we say it was? One and a half. Now we got to make sure we still have that one and a half. Okay, we'll use this end. Am I going to lose my candles? I want my candles. Okay. Let's go one and a half. So I'm gonna cut the other end, line that up to one and a half. Dun, 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 dun. That should be good. Yep. Yeah. And let's try that again. Five and a half, Nanny. Five and a half. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's what happens when you go rogue? Okay. Let's look here. Looksy, looksy. And I want about um, three quarters showing. Okay. <laughs> so it's slightly different. It's okay. So if you make this one, as you can see, I just did a one and a half piece and then I cut off one and a half on the front, but then I added this three quarter inch strip. But I don't want to do this because I want to use those candles. Oh, we're not cutting that because I wanted to use those candles. So on this one, and you can always take a replay so you get those measurements and pause. Four and a quarter, making sure I'm scoring. So that's my center. And then, um, what did I say this one was? One and a half. So we're going to go one and a quarter because we're going to tuck that other piece. We got to tuck some of that on the back side. So you can see here, we have some of that on the back side. So we're going to take some of that and one and a quarter. <laughs> we're going to find out if I'm wrong. So let's go. Let's go because I did not write this down, folks. We are roguey rogues story. There we go. And get my glue. Now let's see here. Oh, and we are good. We are good. Okay, so we're going to line that up to the edge, right to the edge. See, and now we have candles showing. So slightly different already, but same concept. And I'm going to add glue here. It's a brand new Tombow, so... We're going to have some oozing. 
There we go. Like so. Now we have our candles showing. And we said confetti, right? So our paper is three inches. So we're going to go three, oh, three and a quarter. Three and a quarter should work. Okay, so we're going to go three and a quarter. You're like, what is this woman doing? So it sounds really weird. That edge doesn't look like I cut it straight. Oh, yeah. Just because I had the paper bent. Three and a quarter. Now, I went three and a quarter because I went bigger. Because I'm going to cover up that tiny little row here. And we're going to add this one back in. Oh, no. I was going to do a different color. What am I thinking? We were going to do a different pattern. Hang on, skinny majoo. Okay. What are we going to do? No, that's not going to work. Okay, so three and a quarter. And to kind of stick to that similar, I probably should have went shorter and then I would have been fine. Should we try that again? Because I don't want to screw you guys up. Because I'm not being very smart here. Oh, right. It was supposed to be three quarters. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> this is what happened. Okay, how many of you, when you go rogue, you do the same? Come on. Please don't tell me I'm not the only one. Please don't tell me. Hi, Irene. How are you doing? Did you get your DSP shares from Team Meeting? Oops. Oops, I accidentally hit. Hang on here. Got hit mute. Okay. I screwed up, so we're just going to fix this. Okay. Um, we're supposed to go one inch. Okay, that's rewind. So we're going to cut one inch off. That means I'm going to need a new one of these. Oh, I'm sweating because of all my mistakes. It's been a crazy day and I haven't been. It's, yeah, it's been a crazy day and a crazy evening. And so we're going to try that again. My apologies. Okay, so we're going to score it at four and a quarter. Okay, that is our, that is, that is our standard A2 card. Sorry, Nanny. Okay, and then I want, this is going to go on the edge there, and I only want, so it's slightly different, but fun. Just the same concept. Just slightly different. And I want, oh, let's say half. So we're going to take off three quarters of an inch off this side. So that one was one inch. So now we're going to go three quarters. Which is, by the way, three quarters here. So on this card, I cut off an inch and a half. Then I took that inch and a half piece, cut it in half, and then that's what gave me there. Okay, bye-bye, our bag. So now this is gonna go here. So same concept as I did with my first card, except we're only gonna see part of the candle and we're gonna glue the rest down. At least we think we are. Oops. So let's try that again. So we're gonna stick that back on, lining it up to this edge so that it becomes part of the front. And I'm like, where did I put my glue? There it is. And then we'll add adhesive. <laughs> it's like round two. This is what happens when you go rogue while you're live. 
nothing just works out because I didn't plan it ahead of time. But I wanted two options and then I wanted you to vote on it. Okay, there we go. Now we need, now am I off? Oh, look at that. I can still use this piece. Okay, so this piece is three and a half and this piece is three and a quarter right on so we'll have that slight piece there and that actually still works because I can go split down the middle like that and that still actually looks good so we just need to cut off a half inch off the bottom so we're going to get a little bit of white on either side which then five and a half five and a half five and a half not five and a quarter it's such an easy habit to go five and a quarter because that is what we always do when we're layering. But this time I need a full. And then that gives me a, an eighth. Yeah, an eighth on each side. Okay, this is turning out to be the way I thought it would be. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, looking good so far, I think. So let's glue that down before we forget. Now we do have a couple options. Oh, I'm so tempted to use a different ribbon. I won't, I won't do it. Maybe I will. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're good. Don't do it, Nemi. Okay. Sorry, talking to myself. You're all like, why didn't she have this design done before? Okay, because I decided to go rogue. So, Global Design Project releases every Monday. Monday, in our case, I'm not sure if it's Monday at like 1 or 2 a.m. I don't know. But I don't get to see it until that morning. So, I'm up at 5, 5.30 looking online to see what the global design project is. And then while I'm at work, I'm thinking, what am I going to use for global design project? That is what's going through my head. Do, and then I get home at 4.30, feed the kids, um, and then sit there and go, okay, what am I designing? And meanwhile, I've already had it in my head as to what kind of design I want so that's usually what's happening okay so so you know I don't have time to always create two but I want to but I just don't have time okay so there we go and then I'm gonna grab some white because I had it here in my disastrous mess and where's my scraps they were sitting here oh yeah so here I did um, emboss but it says celebrate you, but I thought we would change it up. Still use the same um, piece because it is quite beautiful, right? And I didn't want to get away, um, get away from that one. Cause I know like, and, and you could also fussy cut this. So I'm sure many of you have seen it where they've actually taken that and fussy cutted it. But I didn't want you to have to worry about fussy cutting. So I wanted to step up the design a bit, but not have to do so much of that, you know, um, cutting per se. So let me go grab my big, sh my emboss and cut machine for ya. And then we'll do, oh yeah, I think I know what I want. Okay, so we're gonna grab, Maybe I'll just use the mini. We'll use the mini to save us some space. And I'll turn this down because it should fit. What did I do with my dies? Oh. So we're going to use, you know what? Maybe we'll, we can add a couple candles. Let me see here. We can cut out candles, but we can also stamp. So there's some candles in here we could also stamp so that we could actually match the card itself. 
Or we could die cut. I don't know. Can you actually die cut those? I never thought. No, you can't. Or we can use a couple leaves or hearts. Or, and there's also snowflakes, things like that, that we can actually use. But I think I do kind of like, I do kind of like um, the idea of, because it is fall, using a couple snowflakes, but, or sorry, a couple leaves. And maybe, okay, we'll stamp those both and see what we get. So I know for a fact that my mini emboss can only hold three and a half inch paper. So let's get that out of the way. This is where things get messy. How you all doing? Are you um, going crazy with my rogue, rogue conversion here? Okay, so we're gonna add this. So this guy needs to go there. <laughs> and then we're gonna add a couple candles. Where's my candle? And let's see. I want to do a couple stripies. So our colors are, if I can, oh, it's right in front of me. We've got quite a few colors. So I think I'm going to do two, uh, a blue and a green. So we need, what green do we need again? Mossy Meadow. Okay, and we need a block. Oh, I had to move things around because the lighting is just horrible. So, Mossy Meadow. It looks funny because we haven't cut it yet. And... Got to clean it. And blue. So there's our two. I don't know. It might look good. It might not look good. But we'll see what the accents look like. I had a different idea in mind. But I think the word celebrates too big. So we're going to do that. Which then means I need this guy here. And we're going to have to cut twice. Now, where did my tape go? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. This is what happens when you clean up. Okay, I'll just steal a piece over here. Let's make some room. Oh my, I have to make some room. Okay, so let's line up our candle. I'm going to assume that's the bottom. I don't know if we'll use these, but I might as well cut them to be safe. Then we'll grab our mini. And we're going to need a yellow blend to get that wickety wick going on in there. And then we'll cut this. Normally I have these cut, right? Normally I'm like, let me show you and tell you what to do, but this time I don't. Okay. I'm on my glass mat. Whew. That works a lot better than what I had before. Sure is sturdy enough to hold that from sliding. And then we need one more candle. Let's see what that looks like. I didn't punch these out when I did my other design. Meh, not so bad. But, you know, it's for my brother and my husband's best friend. Actually, my husband's best friend, his birthday is on the same day as my brother. So, all these events, so we're trying to get together on the 21st because my mom starts radiation on the 24th, which is the actual, my birth brother's birthday. So, he's like, great. But... That's fine, because my brother doesn't like celebrating his birthday. And lo and behold, my husband's best friend doesn't like celebrating his birthday either. So I'm like, here, here, cards. And we're done. 
But um, we always still have family dinner no matter what. He can't get away from that, at least my brother. So the other one just goes in the mail. Because we don't celebrate Brian either. Okay. So there we go. I gotta put this candle somewhere in my metal holder so we don't lose it. Okay. Now we have that. We have that. We have that. And we might put two candles over here. So we have that. Now we need our ribbon. So I was gonna decide between this. So yeah, I'm trying to grab it. So this is our new ribbons, and I think I might go with this. And they have the three colors, which is, I think, garden green. This is a natural tone linen thread. Um, copper clay, and I believe that's Night of Navy. So that's what I use here. This time I have two ideas. So the other idea was to, instead of going up and down, is to wrap around behind. And then I thought I would use to not take away from the sentiment is use crumb cake because this was the closest I could get to a pecan pie. It's not very close, but we could color this thread with pecan pie to make it darker. Did you know you could use your blends for that? Okay, so you could blend and get that color. So let's get this stamped so we know what we're doing here. And I'm going to stamp it in this. And we shall use pecan pie to kind of bring that color in. And then we're going to do the word celebrate first. So then I kind of, I don't know, maybe I'll do both. So we've got pecan pie and we got misty. And I'm going to get the word celebrate and the word let's. Let's celebrate. Instead of using celebrate you, I'm going to use let's celebrate. And then you can tell me which one of these you like better. Slightly different. So I'm going to type the word. I always have to go this way because I'm always scared I'm not going to put it straight. So there's the word let's. And I stuck it in the corner because celebrate takes up a lot of space. And celebrate. Let's hope this works. There. I got a lot of ink on there. I hope it doesn't transfer. Oh, beautiful. Wow. I like it. Look at how gorgeous that word celebrate is. Like, really. So pretty. I love the font. I just, I just love it. Okay. Let's pop these colors closed before we get them all over ourselves. And then we're going to need some yellow. And then this is going to go here. I guess we could have did the U. But let's see if I take some of this twine and use it on the back side. I was thinking of going this way instead which may work. You know what? Let's go rogue and use two. Let's be rebels and use both colors. Why not? It's like sewing. <laughs> okay, so see, we have that beautiful pattern there on the back, on the inside of the card, I guess. And then we're gonna take this do, 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 do. And I think that goes really well with the pecan pie. So we're going to go like that. And then we're going to tie a bow. Nice big bow. I'm using a little bit extra because I think I want a nice, I want to go um, nice and big. Just trying to decide which way I want my bow. And go through. There we go. And we'll pull this bow more. Is 
like that. And then we have that. Awesome. So here I put the bow on top. And then here I'm thinking I put the bow underneath. So then you have that little pop, that um, figure eight still showing in the background. Let's make sure we've got enough thread. And I think we do. Okay so far? Just give me a thumbs up if you think I'm okay so far. <laughs> Who knows? I'm a little, I'm not all here today. So it's Monday. Manic Monday, as I like to call it. And then on top of that, there you go. I think that, oh, that's why. I'm like, why does it look like there's a double? Because this guy needs to go with that guy. And I'm like, did I miss something? Okay, so we'll put that there. But I'm going to slide this up a bit because I think it's too far down. And then we can stick that there. So it's a little deceiving, and then it actually opens this way. And then you see the back side um, on there. So it's right on that card front. This guy needs to move right on the way. There. Okay, let's get dimensionals. Trying to find my dimensionals here. There we go. And let's put those on there. So this is simple, but yet I think fun. I hope you think so. I probably could have put one dimensional. Now, if you don't want your ribbon to move so much, let's grab. There it is. Let's grab a mini dot. So let's grab a mini dot. Oops. Stick that underneath. And hold that there. And then this can go on top. It's going to overlap just a bit. Oh, this glue dot is in the way. Hi. Oh, my. I stuck that on really good. It's just because this bow is bigger than planned. So I'm going to stick one there. I guess I could have double popped it. Oh, I have no nail on that one. Oakley Dokley. Oh, I don't think I need another one. It should be over. Here on this side. There we go. That holds it better. Okay, there we have it. Oh my goodness, what chaos. Okay, so we got that. And then, so we're almost similar. Now I'm going to take, where are my embellishments? So I'm gonna switch up my embellishments. I had them sitting here. There's one pack, but I had a second pack. Nope, it's not that one. Oh, there it is. Um, so this one was the, actually has Miss, uh, Missy Moonlight, and it's the Tinsel Gems. Tinsel Gems three pack, so there's that Missy Moonlight on the top there. And then because we have all that confetti, do we want to add our candles? I don't think we need our candles. But it almost feels like we could add something in there. Let's see. Let me grab my Daffodil Delight and see if we... You tell me. Should I put these candles in there, yes or no? So I'm going to add some light up on top. I don't know if I like these. Maybe I should have used the snowflakes. Or not the snowflakes. What do you call it? Um, the leaves, because it is kind of fall. So I was going to put crisscross candles. 
You tell me while I work on this. Candles, no candles. Okay, thank you, Kathy. I agree. Okay, let's add some tinsel tinsel. Some navy blue tinsel on here. And there's so it's so busy. I don't even know if we need it. So let's see. Let's see if we add maybe just a few so that we're not taking away from too much of the pattern and see if it actually is enough. Because on this one, I think I put like nine. And here, I think only three is really necessary because we have so much going on already. So we could add that U in here if we wanted to. But I don't know. I think it's enough. What do you think? What do you think? And which one do you like better? So this one's got more of a busy pattern, really celebrating with confetti and candles. And then this one's got the simple, clean look right of the just celebrate you with a lot of the white and just that hint and then on the inside you have your other two patterns that are available there so you let me know if you think it needs more now if not then we are done but secondly this keeps shifting so i almost feel like i should add another another um what do you call it glue dot um but tell me which one you like. Enough. Okay, perfect. So which one do you like? I agree. I think it's enough. So you just have that little bit of bling going on. And either way, both guys will like it no matter what. Because one, it's homemade. And two, it's very masculine. So let me know if you like the simple card, which is here on my left. Um, or the more step it up, busy, really celebrating in your face card here to the right. Um, but I do love this this linen thread. It's actually quite nice. And I really want to play with this copper one. So you're probably going to see some of that come out in this one too. Um, well, I've already done my designs. So I might change. <laughs> I've already done my designs for retreat. I don't know if I want to change them up. <laughs> I don't know if now is the time considering how much work still needs to be done for retreat. But, <laughs> you know, it's always fun. So there you have it. Those are my two for, um, or my one for today, for this week. But tell me which one you like the most, because that's the one I'm going to post on Global Design Project. And tag, like I'll obviously post both. But I think, I think I'm in love with this left one, because I'm a very, I like it simple. I do like my scrapbook pages busy, and I should do one of those as well. But these are my two designs. So let me know what you think. So again, just a reminder, vote on the one you like. Um, this one I did cut off one and a half inches. And underneath it's one and three quarters so that I have that quarter inch to glue. Right. And then this one is the, um, then you just take that one and a half and split it. And then you get that uh, quarter, you get that half inch um, or three quarters of an inch space there and both are very nice but I like the left one more right yeah I'm the same way I like simple so I hope that that makes sense right so you saw it's very simple to make so you're gonna have fun with these two patterns I think they work really really well and add a little bit of life and masculine or feminine so you know you could add some flowers if you want to twist it up to make it more feminine and same with this one um, or add those green leaves because there's a lot of fun little you have all of these to work with so you can almost make one for every season and then using grateful for Thanksgiving versus celebrate so you can pretty much make one for a birthday and then one for Thanksgiving and you've got Christmas and you've got New Year's Eve I mean so many things and then of course um, grateful you can use again with the hearts for valentine's day so really fun set i'll be back i'm hoping um i might have to do a recording because wednesday my kids have a game again no shocker there 
but it's because they crowned all their games in. So we'll see what we can do about me being here, but it'll likely have to try and be recorded or something and then be shared with you this weekend. So thank you again. And thank you, Christine. You like the white one, but the other one's good. I know they're both good. So I know I'll probably give them. Um, they're getting gifted anyway. <laughs> and obviously I do have one more. So I will um, gift that one to you obviously for today. So on Wednesday, I'll post who the winners are for liking, sharing, and commenting. They just go into the wheel, and then I spin it, and then so you get three, up to three, and then whoever wins gets the card. So have a, I hope you try this design out. Have a great evening, and happy stamping. Thank you for joining.